Hello students, this is Ashwini from Chinta.com. I do hope you are doing very nice mathematical problems. In this particular video, we will learn about a technique in geometry that is known as subtrahendo. It's actually from algebra, but we will use it in the context of geometry using this beautiful problem from American math competitions. So uh, let me tell you about the problem. But remember, the reason we are doing this problem is of course to enjoy it but as well as to learn this technique so that we can use it in other contexts. I'll also give a challenge question to you. Okay, so let's look at this picture. We have a triangle ABC. We have a triangle ABC and BQ and CD are two lines intersecting at P such that this area is 3, this area is 7 and this much is also 7. We are required to find out the area of the shaded region. So, find the area of A, Q, P, D. How can we go about doing this? Well, first we make some observations. We notice that this point P is actually the midpoint of BQ. Why is that? Well, remember... CPB and CPQ, these two triangles, they have the same height. You can actually draw the height if you want. This is, you have to extend this line. You can probably draw the height. This is the height H. They have the same height. If you calculate their areas, they have the same height. And their bases are CP, the base is CPB, the base is BP and CPQ, the base is PQ. And that we know is 7 over 7. The areas are both 7. So half and half cancels, H and H cancels. So BP over PQ is 1 or BP is equal to PQ. This is a general principle. If two triangles are coming out from the same vertices and if they have the same area, then their bases will be the same. You can keep this in mind as a general principle, but you should also know why this works. Okay. All right. So we know that these two triangles are of equal area. Now, what I'm going to do is I will join AP as a construction. AP. Okay. So let me just erase this part. AP as a construction. So now suppose this part is X. That is triangle APD is X. Again, we use the fact that BP over QP is 1. BP is equal to QP. So, this area will be equal to this area. APB will be equal to APQ. APB will be equal to APQ. The areas will be equal. So, this part is 3 plus X. Now, we are actually ready to completely solve the problem. Well, we, we know that AD, we will use the area principle again. AD over BD is equal to triangle APD over triangle BPD. Again, the same principle, two triangles coming out from the same vertex, so their heights must be same. This is actually equal to triangle ACD by BCD by triangle BCD. And though we really don't have to use this subtrahendo principle, but since we are trying to learn it, let me just do it anyway. This is equal to, you subtract the numerators, you subtract the denominators. So, triangle ACD minus triangle APD divided by triangle BCD minus triangle BPD. I'll come back to this in a moment, but let me explain one more time what we just did. If A by B is equal to C by D, if these two ratios are equal, then both of them will be equal to A minus C divided by B minus D or A plus C divided by B plus D. This is known as a subtrahendo or addendo principle from proportionality. You can easily prove this as a homework or as a challenge. Can you try to prove this using tools in algebra? This is the principle that we are using. We don't have to use it, but I'm using it just because we want to learn it. And also, one area where this technique comes up again is the proof of Shiva's theorem. You can check this in our channel. We have discussed this quite a few times. In the proof of Shiva's theorem, something like this happens. Okay, 
So what is ACD minus APD? ACD minus APD is simply APC is equal to triangle APC and divided by triangle BPC. Okay, so what is APD by BPD? We know that it is APD by BPD is X by 3 and we know that APC by BPC, APC is 10 plus X, BPC is 7. Okay, so we are now ready to equate the two equations. X by 3 is equal to x by 3 is equal to 10 plus x by 7. Uh, so you can just simply cross multiply and find out the value of x. Once you find out the value of x, remember you want to find out this area. So once you find out x, you can plug in x and find out this area. I'll give this to you as a challenge question. This is just one line away. Solve for x, plug it back in and tell me the final result. Okay. All right. I hope you have learned something from this video. If you have, consider subscribing. And if you are interested in mathematical olympiads, physics olympiad, computer science olympiad, or research in schools, then check the link in the descriptions. We have wonderful programs for that. You may enjoy it. All right. Take care. Bye. I'll see you the next one.